What's up guys, GregGamer34 here. So today I'm back with a video on this CPU and I have it running uh, bit shift and uh, bit shift and add multiplication algorithm. So I'm gonna have it be doing four multiplications for you guys. So you might want to get out a calculator or something to see if I'm getting it correct. Um, preferably probably a binary calculator. Um, so the first numbers are 5 times 5 then 14 times 9, 12 times 7, and then 15 by 15. So, let's get started. Um, so, right here you'll see I have this, believe it or not, is 5 times 5. This is going to be doing the, alg the addition, or the multiplication, and just to prove it to you, the first input is here, and the second input is also a 5. And then you'll see it changes from there. So, Let's go ahead and simulate this. So just so you guys know, we're running at this at 16 hertz. It's stable all the way up until like 2 kilohertz, but it's hard to see the output because it's flashing so much. So 16 kilohertz is going to be just fine. Or 16 hertz is going to be just fine. And uh, let's go. So there it is. Uh, that was 5 times 5, and you guys can see for yourselves that's 25. 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25 pretty cool. So, let's load a new image. Let's load 14 times 9. Yeah, look at all that stuff. Alright, anyway, 14 times 9. So you'll see there's 14 coming through for the first input. Then for the second input, Oh, is nine. So let's reset this. Simulate. Tix enabled. Ready, set, go. So this should get us 126, which is two minus 128. So, oh, hold up one second. Let's reset this and clear the registers and let's try that again. All right, let's do that again. There we go. Okay. Uh I didn't have my registers cleared. So there we go. That is that is 2 minus 128, which is 126. <coughs> so let's do one more multiplication. We'll do Oh no, two more. But we have 12 times 7 now to do. So, load image, 12 by 7, load that instead, reset PC, clear everything. So there's the first one, is 12. I'm sure you guys understand now that I'm not bullshitting when I say, yeah, I have the inputs what they are. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this. Bam. So 12 times 7 should get us one, seven, 84. So let's see here. We have a 64 plus a 16. So 64 and 16 make an 8, 80. And then we have a 4. So that made 84. So that was 12 times 7, which worked. And now we'll try 15 times 15. So let's reset the PC, load a different image, 15 by 15. Oh, I don't think that works properly. Okay, yeah, it did. All right, so let's clear everything. So you'll see 15's coming in, and uh, let's go ahead and run it. 15 by 15 is 225. You guys should know that. So it's gonna be 11110001. Yeah. So there we go. There's 15 times 15. So pretty fast multiplication. I'm really proud of it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to design some better CPUs now. Now that I know what's going on in logism, I want to get some branch prediction, uh, caching, uh, prefetching, uh, pipelining, and uh, hazard protection uh, kind of stuff going on. I don't have any of that included in this. I don't even have a stack in the CPU, but I want to get a little bit more detailed with it. 
So that's that's where I think I'm going with this. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.